everyone this is Niveda Murlidharan from newgenmax.com today i'm going to share you how to update keywords on amazon in bulk i have already launched a video on how to update keywords in single and what are the keywords tool to use and what is the process of keywords on amazon so if you have not checked the same i request you to check it i have mentioned the link in the description so now i have logged into my panel and i've just clicked on inventory manage inventory now consider that I want to update for uh, keywords for products above 100 or above 50 or at least 10. I can use the bulk sheet instead of working on single sheet. So now I am going to show you how can we do that. So let me you know, uh, pick some SKUs here. So let me pick this SKU. I am just clicking on edit and opening in a new tab. And also this product, the Dora Explorer, I am just clicking on edit and opening in a new tab. So I'm just moving to the keywords column and I could see that there is no search term that is it is blank. So even in this product I'm going to the keywords and there is no search terms. So now let's see how to update keywords for these two products. So before going on we have to download the flat file sheets. So how can we download is that we have to just go here and search as inventory file templates. In the search bar, type as inventory file templates or inventory file template. You will get the answer. And you have to click on this inventory file templates. Please note that for updating the keywords, you can use any flat file. All these are flat files only. It is category wise. But we are going to do just keyword updates. So you can download any file. And in order to explain this one, I'm just going to say what are these things. These are the flat file templates. So if you click on it, a flat file will be downloaded. So I'm just clicking on, you know, beauty and one flat file will be downloaded for this beauty. And this is the sample file that which already Amazon has created. If you have any doubt in creating a listing, you can surely refer this file. And also there is a video for this and this is browse node. So you will have the browse node list of all the baby or beauty, whatever category is it. Browse nodes are nothing but sub categories. Consider there's a beauty category. You may have skincare, face care. And these are called the browse notes. Now all these are not required for us. We are going to just download any flat file. And I am just going to open the sheet. So now what are the columns that we are going to fill in the flat file matters? We are just going to fill three columns. One is SKU and one is the keyword column. And one more column is the update column. So update means we are instructing Amazon that this listing is already available on Amazon. And we are doing partial update. So let me explain you in detail. I'm just going to copy this SKU. And let me fix this another SKU. Okay. So only three columns you are going to fill. One is SKU we have already filled. And then we have a column called update or delete. So here Amazon, we have to say Amazon that we are going to do either update, delete or partial update. We are going to do partial update. Actually, the drop down here is not working for me. So I'm going to manually type partial update. So if you're not sure what is the spelling or how you spell this without spacing or with spacing, you can simply move on to this data definition tab. And when you move on to this, just search for partial update. I'm sorry, that was a spelling mistake. Partial update. If you search on it, the exact spelling will be here. So I'm just copying it and I'm pasting it because if I put partial space update, it won't work. So make sure that you're entering the correct term. So it's partial update. I'm just copying for both the columns. So now I have entered SKU and partial update. Now we are going to fill on the keywords, which is called generic keywords. Now I'm not going to say how we are going to work on the keywords since I've already covered in this. So now I'm going to just type some words and see whether it's updating or not. So this is a test is the first keyword and for the second I'm going to enter yes it worked. These are not the keywords just I'm entering dummy data to show you the keywords column will be updated. So once it is done I'm just saving it. So once it is saved I'll just come on here in inventory and add products via upload. In this, there will be two steps. One is check your file and one is upload file. For all these types of partial update, there is no need to use check file. So just come to the step two, which is upload file and click on choose file. 
I'm selecting the file that I uploaded. If you wish to get any email notification, you can use this one. So I have just entered my mail ID and just clicking on upload. So within one or two minutes, your file will be uploaded here. And also one more thing, I save this file as Excel file. It is always preferred to save the file as tab delimited file. I will also explain how to convert this file into tab delimited file. That is nothing but text file. So I'm just opening this file. So the reason why I said to convert into tab delimited is that when I'm uploading Excel, it will take a lot of time to be refreshed on Amazon. But when I'm converting into tab delimited, uh, this is a text file, the time consumed will be less. So what I've done, I've opened the file, clicked on file, save as. So once it is done, I have to save as type, I have to change the save as type as tab delimited, which is otherwise called text. Once it is done, just click on save. Sorry for the noise. So now this file is saved as text file. It is already saved. So I'm just going to ignore it, cancel it. When I come here, this file will be saved as text file. And this file you can upload here. So now I can up come here and upload your inventory file. Select upload your inventory file and upload this text file here, which is actually preferred. Okay, so as I've already uploaded, I'm not going to re-upload it. So once the upload is done, you will get a mail notification. Also, you can just come and click on monitor upload status. If you click on it, it will show you the status. Upload status is done. Total number of records submitted is two. That means two records is processed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to this page and I'm clicking on the refresh to see if the keywords are updated. I did not do anything here. I'm just clicking on refresh and I'm waiting for the result. I'm just refreshing both the pages, both the SKUs. So it is getting refreshed and I'm coming to the keywords column and it says, yes, it worked. And for the other product, I'm coming to the keywords column and this is a test. So whatever we have updated in the flat file, it is also updating here. So this is the way that you can upload keywords on bulk in Amazon. I always prefer bulk work because you will have a track of what keywords you're updating. You will have an Excel track also. Also, it is very easy for you. It won't be time consuming at all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please like, comment and share the video. Please subscribe to the channel and hit on the bell icon to get instant notification. Thank you.